Pregnant Love Island star Malin Anderson rushed to see the doctors after she suffered from bleeding. The reality star, 28, told her Instagram followers that the reason she's been inactive was due to her being in the hospital. Thankfully, Malin revealed both mother and baby are all okay. She wrote on her stories, sorry haven't posted all weekend. Me and baby are absolutely fine but had a little scare as I was bleeding yesterday and I didn't have much movement. But after being checked out all is okay. She added, I thought to myself, nope, this is definitely not happening, not this time. Angels have got us for sure. Pregnancy after loss is so difficult, not gonna lie to you all. The star is expecting a baby girl with her friend turned boyfriend, Jared. Her second child's due date is the same as her late daughter can see. Mullen's daughter can see was born seven weeks premature and passed away in January 2019, one month after her birth. She was named in tribute to Mullen's late mother, who had passed away in November 2017. The star opened up recently about her fears her unborn baby will die as she battled unresolved feelings and pain. Sharing a photo of herself cradling her baby bump in a one-piece, Malin bent, it feels like I've been here with you before. I have, I'll be honest, three years ago feels like a blur to me. But feeling a new human growing inside me again feels so familiar. It scares me. So I'm here to welcome you on my journey with my rainbow baby. I know that sharing how I feel resonates, and I want those that are struggling to conceive, or have lost a baby and are trying, pregnant with their rainbow baby or feel like their happy ending hasn't come yet, to see a clearer view through my life, and that actually we must trust the timing in everything. I haven't spoken to you much yet on how I've felt, to be honest it's been a very weird journey so far, I was hesitant to even reveal my pregnancy, I have this inner hurt, this pain and that voice in my head that tells me this isn't real, that my child won't survive, that something bad will happen. I've been very quiet, Melon quiet? That's strange, the queen of positive thinking, waking up each day with not much to say. Just hope in her heart that baby will make it another day. The beauty went on, see the reality is, we never really know what life can throw at us, we must remain present and mindful, appreciate every minute, for sure I hope for the best, but I can't help past trauma creep up on me. She's integrated in me, can see lives through me each day, I see her brown eyes open one last time. And it gives me fear. Fear of the unknown. So what do I do? I've been going to therapy, remaining consistent. This has brought up a whole lot of unresolved feelings and pain that I seem to have blocked out. Don't get me wrong I have the most amount of love and joy in my heart, but as I said, I'm only human. We tend to always think the worst. When I realize what's growing inside me, I get goosebumps, I have to have a double take. Isn't it sad that sometimes things seem too good to be true? Well maybe, just maybe they aren't. I keep telling myself that this is my time, 